All right, guys, just a couple things, a couple reminders. The keys are going to be transition defense, transition defense, and rebounding the basketball. We the, the biggest thing for us is the preparation that leads up to a game day. It's really not that moment that when we're in the locker room, it's more the two days of prep as we're preparing on what it's going to take to be successful in this upcoming game. AJ, you got to set hard screens, shuffle cuts. Remember to make the read off the shuffle. Now I want you to play with incredible energy, and we must create our own from the opening tip. This night is what you've been training and what you've been preparing for. My total commitment and my total driving force are these kids on this basketball team. And when we recruit them, you know, we get them to buy into the vision of what we are trying to do, but we also buy into them. The kids that I coach know that I believe in them so much, and I think that they go out there and they play that hard because of it. Let's go get it, let's go get it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we're ready, we're ready, okay. Then what drives me throughout the game is getting to see those players succeed. Uh, that's the greatest, I think, uh, victory for a coach. It starts with you guys. Make sure we are pointing and talking first four steps. Let's go, huddle it up, huddle it up. Hey, see, see, hey, let's go, madman. Man. Right there, right there, all day, baby, all day. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. We always talk about the next play. And so we try to play in four minute segments. And so when they come over and we've had a really nice four minute media, then we talk about now we got to play the next four minutes. I love the way you started. Now let's do that another four minutes now. That really breaks it up for them. So if it was not a very good four minutes, let's let that go and move on to the next one. Hey, let's push the wedge. Push the wedge. Christine, we're pushing the wedge. Push the wedge. I coach my team. And obviously I'm not happy with all the calls that are made. No foul on that entry pass. But I think when the kids see me lose my composure and I'm constantly complaining about calls, then they will follow my lead. So I attempt to do that in more of conversational with the officials versus berating them. I'm not going to ask for it every time, but the two that I saw, I thought were legitimate fouls. I'm not going to be on you all the time about it. Travel! Travel! I hope that they're playing with between the lines and keeping total focus. We talk a lot about you know, your, your, your brain follows your eyes. Your eyes follow your brain. And so where, the, where your eyes go, that's where your mind's going to go. So we want to stay within the lines. Come on, AJ. Yeah. I do think the greatest thing about women's college basketball is the fan experience. So we do have our players very approachable. Celeste, I've told you that we go as you go. And baby, you went hard tonight. You went great. That we're doing things the right way is that it's about the entire approach. We want to run a big time Division I women's college basketball program, but never lose the personal aspect of it. And I think that will separate us from programs across the country. All right, ECU first on three. Real proud of you. Great job, guys. On three. One, two, three. ECU first.